I'm going to use our six inch spiral on this block here. The six inch spiral is designed to go around a block giving you a beautiful spiraling design. The six inch one will do up to a nine inch block and this is an eight inch block. It will do a six inch, four inch block. I first marked a center point just with crosshairs here. So now I'm going to bring my threads up. I'm going to now put my needle back in that starting point. Always hold on to the tails when you're, you start so that you don't get a bunching of fabric at the back of your work. With this ruler, we're going to stitch around the ruler to the edge of the block. If you'll notice, I'm not turning my fabric. I'm actually allowing the fabric to stay pretty much in the same position, but I'm using the ruler to move that circle. I'm now going to stitch a back stitch across this part here. If you want, you can use your straight ruler so that it helps you to stay on line and keep that stitch where you want it, which is on the stitching line from before. What I need to do is move this template, keeping the center in line with those crosshairs and using one of the lines on the template, and for this I'm actually going to turn this around so you can see it. I'm going to use the lines on the template to line up with that stitching line. So I'm keeping the starting point at the right place and I'm going to line that over the top of the line that we've already sewn. When I do this, I'm tell it's telling me that I need to be here if I'm going to work on this line. So I'm just going to come back a little bit. Doesn't matter if you do a backtracking more than once. We're going to come around, stitching at the edge of this ruler. Remember, move your hands and relocate your hands when you need to. And when we come back into the center, we're going to stop at the same point as what we started at. And we're right back in that same position. Stop with your needle down. And I'm going to turn that back to where we should be. The foot now locates on the hook on the template and we're working on the second line. On this one, I actually have stable tape. Just helps me keep this template in position. And we're going to go around until we get to the edge and stop on the edge of that square. I'm now going to sew up the line there. After you've done a bit of quilting with rulers, you will actually learn that you can backtrack quite easily. With ruler work, you do not have to go quickly. You go at the pace that you are comfortable with to get the result that you want, which is nice, even stitches. And I'm lining up that line again, making sure the center is in place. And we're going to sew the next one. And we're going to stop back at the center. only have a couple of arcs left to go. You can do this where you don't travel along the edge of a block and you have them floating, but if you're doing that, you will have to backtrack each one of these arcs.
and we'll go back to the centre again. Just stopping in the middle. So once we finish sewing, we're going to bring our threads up and sew the ends in. So that's our finished spiral going in that direction. If we want, we can turn the spiral upside down and work the spiral going in the opposite direction on top of this one. We have a number of different spacing measurements on that tool. <laughs> 